Hello friends, this video on surface areas and volumes part 8 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. It is required to make a closed cylindrical tank of height 1 meter, base 140 centimeter from a metal sheet. So this is 1 meter. So it is meter and centimeter is confusing and they are looking for answer in square meters. So let us convert this diameter into 1.4 meter. Right? So height is 1 meter. So if diameter is uh, 1 meter, radius will be what? 0.7 meter. Why I am doing this? Because I always prefer to take radius instead of 9 meter to avoid any kind of confusion. So we have a tank which has height of 1 meter and radius as 0.7 meter. How many square meter of sheet are required? It is a closed cylindrical tank that means I have to take care of this area and also the base area because it is a tank. Right? It has to be covered from the, the bottom side as well. So in this case I am looking for total surface area. Please note, I am not looking for only curved surface area, I am looking for total surface area because I am looking for a closed cylindrical tank. Since it is a tank, the base has to be covered. Since it is closed, the top also has to be covered. Total surface area of this particular cylinder will be what? The formula is 2 pi r into h plus r. Or you can say 2 pi r square plus 2 pi r h also you can say. So we will put the values. 2 into pi is 22 by 7, r is 0.7 into h is 1, r is again 0.7, it is all in meters, so it becomes meter square. You solve this, you get 7.48 meter square. So this is the area of sheet required. So this is area of metal sheet required will be 7.48 meters square. So assuming the thickness is the negligible of the sheet. Okay. A metal pipe is a pipe now. So understand the moment you say pipe that means what? That means the base and the top is not there. It is all empty. Right? When you talk about tank, the base exists by default. When you talk about closed tank, the base and the top exist, right? So it's a metal pipe. That means the, the base and the top will not exist unless specified in the question. It is 77 centimeter long. First check the dimensions, all centimeter, okay, fine. It's 77 centimeter long. The inner radius of the cross section is 4 centimeters, then the outer, sorry, the diameter is given. The inner diameter is 4 by 2, that is 2. This diameter is 2 cm and the outer diameter is 4.4 by 2 that is this one is what 2.2 I am just converting this diameter to radius right so I have an inner radius as 2 or I think I didn't draw it properly okay so the inner diameter is 2 so let me take this as 2 and this outer diameter is 2.2 so this is 2.2 I think with that it makes more sense yeah so we have to find the inner curved surface area we have to find the outer curved surface area and the total surface area okay so it is a pipe it is not closed please note this pipe is not closed so when you talk about the inner surface area, let's find one by one. Inner curved surface area. And let me mention this is R1 and this is R2. And this is H area. We want 2 pi R1H. Put the value 2 into 22 by 7 R1 plus 2 into H is 77. Or in centimeters, this becomes centimeter square. You solve it, you get 968 centimeter square. 
Similarly, outer curved surface area is nothing but 2 pi r2h. 2 pi into by 7. R2 is what? 2.2. H is what? Again 77. It will be centimeter square. So you saw this. You saw this. You get 1064.8 centimeter square. Pretty easy. First two part are pretty easy. The second, the third part is really tricky. So when you talk about total surface area, don't just blindly apply the formula saying that total surface area is 2 pi rh plus 2 pi r square. That is not correct. Visualize the problem. Here it is pipe. Please note it is a pipe. Since it is a pipe, there is no base. There is no base. It is all hollow here. So when you talk about total surface area, you have to talk about this area. You have to talk about this area and you have to talk about this area right the one is the light gray how will you find this light gray area see so if you have two circles you need to find this area how will you find and let's suppose this is r1 and this is r2 so the area will be what pi R two square minus R one square. Correct. That will be the area of this case. In this case, hope you understand. So if you have two concentric circles, so you want to find the area of this uh, shaded uh, zone. That will be nothing but pi into R two square minus R one square. Similarly, area of this zone will be what pi into R two square minus R one square. Okay. Same thing we have here also, bottom also. So we'll do multiply. Okay, so the total surface area of pi, please note it is pi, it is nothing but inner curved area plus outer curved area plus edges area. Right? So that is nothing but you put the value. This is 968. This is 1064. And edges, there are two edges. So two and each edges area we just showed was this. Let's put the value there and find the value. So pi would be 22.2 square minus 2 square. Okay, so this becomes 4, 484 and 4.84. So this becomes, let me solve it here, 22 by 7 into 0.84. Right? Okay, 22 into 0.2. Two sixty four, two point six four. This is two point six four centimeter square. So let me add this. So this was one. So we'll have to say two into two point six four centimeter square. Why? Because area of one edge is uh, two point six four centimeter square. So we have to take two edge, one in the bottom, one in the top. So it is two into two point six four. The whole unit will be in centimeter square. So you saw this. You get two zero three eight. 0.8 centimeter square. Sorry. Let's do it. There is some issue with the calculation. So this becomes this is 968. This is 1064.8. This becomes 5.28. This is 80. Yeah, so it is 2.2038.08 centimeter square. So this is you have to take this also. Yeah, this is the answer. Okay, so what we have done here is so first thing is 
we should notice that it is a metal pipe since it is a metal pipe it will not have the base area it will not have base area it will have only inner curved surface area it will have outer curved surface area and it will have edge area and it will be two edge area and the edge area in this case will be pi into r2 square minus r1 square right this is as good as two concentric circles and we have to find the area between the two con concentric circles let's take one more example the diameter of a roller is 84 centimeter and the length is 120 centimeter so let's put the values here 120 okay and this diameter is 84 so I will take radius as how much 42 right so 42 and 120 is the dimension given it takes 500 complete revolutions to move once over to level a playground you have to find the area of playground in meter square okay to do this so what the question is saying that this is a roller and it needs 500 revolutions to roll over one or to level one playground so we have to first find the curved surface area of this cylinder because that is the area covered in one revolution so one revolution of roller covers area equal to curved surface area of roller so if you understand this line you understand the question so one revolution of this roller will cover field area and this field area will be equal to the curved surface area of the ruler so for that let's find and then we can multiply with 500 because they are talking about 500 complete revolutions so what you get is the area of the playground so first let's find the curved surface area of the ruler so curved surface area of ruler is what 2 pi r into h okay put the value 2 pi r is what 42 h is 120 put the values you get 31680 centimeter square that is the curved surface area of roller okay now area of field is equal to what is equal to 500 into curved surface area of roller because it needs 500 revolutions for roller to level this field this is 500 into 31680 and that is in the centimeter square but we are looking for what meter square so 100 centimeter is equal to 1 meter you multi square both side so 100 centimeter square is equal to 1 meter square so you want to convert this into meter square so we have to multi divide this by 10,000 this become meter square so you see chain in unit okay these two gets cancelled this gets cancelled and this will also get cancelled so what you get is 1584 meter square that is the area of the field or area of the playground okay thank you visit our website examfear.com to watch more and more quality education videos you can also attempt free online tests that are there in our website you can also get access to tons of free study materials and you can also find free tutors and mentors in this website thanks a lot for watching